Take a moment to check your seat back pocket for any personal items, like tablets and cell phones. When you open the overhead... Five thirty-seven a.m. I know I should be super tired, but the four hours of sleep I got on that flight were the most sleep I've had in a week. Oh, there's my car. That—that's me. Okay. Today is the first day of March. That means in 24 days, it will be both my birthday and the one year anniversary of this vlog. Photo shoot in the studio today. Got this gear. This is for the portrait? Yeah. Got it. I have a greasy ass forehead too. <laughs> so it's like a portrait here and then a head to toe shot over here in this corner. Two photos. Okay. As long as your exposure is good. Alright, one width, one expression. Yeah, the eyes are really intense. What's that, Brian? That's such a good one. Okay, hold on, you have to fake it for me for the vlog. Yeah, let's do it. Looking up here, alright. And. We're just faking it right now, so I have the shot for the vlog. He's not actually shooting me. <laughs> oh yeah, look how serious I look. Huh? Oh, look at that awesome hair! Oh wait, we got the curl? Ooh. What does it mean to be sassy? <laughs> nice, nice. I had my tuxedo from the Oscars laying around, so I thought, why not wear it for this photo shoot? Seemed like a fun idea. Those guys were totally into it. All right, here I am, ready for the Oscars, again. Do the button open so that it, it like catches some air. Oh yeah, now the exposure is good. I can. Is the red light on? Is it recording? That's it. That's a shoot. The shoot. That's a wrap on the shoot. On a scale of one to ten, how did it go? Well. Really? You feel good about it? I feel great. That was awesome. Thank you for everything. Yeah, pleasure. This was a pleasure. Thank you, really great to meet you. What is that noise? What is that noise? Boosted board! Why would this possibly turn into an alarm? That has been buzzing for like five minutes before I hit record. All right, let's get started. This is my friend Gary B's new book. He put me on the back cover. Go buy Gary's new book. Today's Q&A is all about the Oscars. This is 100% true, and I'm probably gonna get into a lot of trouble for telling it, but I have to tell the story. I was at the Oscars because Samsung, 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 Samsung was a major sponsor, and like, they got to bring people, and they invited me. One of the things that Samsung gets to do as a sponsor is something during the on-air broadcast of the actual Oscars. Remember when Ellen took like that crazy selfie with all the celebrities in it? Nice! So this year, what they were going to do, this is the truth, this is no bullshit. They were gonna have me skateboard down the aisle, like past Leonardo, skateboard down the aisle and like jump onto the stage, holding their new 360 camera in my hand, during the broadcast. This was gonna happen. 
Like we went there and practiced. I wasn't allowed to film when we were in there practicing, but like, here's a sneaky shot I took. Hello. Hello. That was like the day before. And I have to give it to Samsung, like all the way up to the head boss, the head in charge at Samsung, like went to bat to make this happen. Like they were calling the producers of the Oscars. They're like, this has to happen. Casey has to skateboard during the Oscars. The Oscars people were like, okay, let's figure this out. We're like talking like details. Is it a four second skateboard ride or a six second skateboard ride? Like all the details. And then like literally two hours before the broadcast, we found out that the people from the Oscars cut the scene. I can't be disappointed. It was like going to the Oscars was like the greatest thing ever. Working with Samsung and getting to shoot the Oscars in 360 was amazing. But come on, could you have imagined me skating down the aisle, holding this thing? I hope I don't get in too much trouble for saying that. Hey Casey, what places did you go that you didn't tell us you went? That you said you shouldn't have gone to? Because we had the badges, we were allowed to go anywhere. and We were hanging out backstage during the actual live broadcast. I was wandering around and we wandered into where like all of the winners were. And at first it was like, wow, oh my God, I can't believe I'm witnessing this. And then that quickly was like, this is their special moment. I didn't earn this. I don't deserve to be here. And I left. Were the celebrities as starstruck seeing you as you were seeing them? You know, funny story. I had more people come up to me, famous people come up to me and say, my kids love your YouTube channel. Then I could have imagined. Like probably happened 20 times. So that was cool. The famous people had no idea who I was, except for the fact that their kids Watch this channel. Did you talk with Leo? No. I tried to find him though. What surprised you the most about the Oscars? Okay, Sylvester Stallone should have won that best supporting actor role. I don't know if you saw Creed. Unbelievable movie. Sylvester Stallone brought me to tears. And instead they gave it to that guy from that other movie about that other thing that I saw and I don't even remember him being in it. I'm sure he's a good actor, but Sylvester Stallone, like performance of a career and they didn't give him the Oscar. That was my biggest surprise. When will you be nominated for an Oscar? As soon as best YouTuber becomes an Oscar category. How was the orgy? Well, I don't think there was one, and if there was, I, I wasn't invited. Charlie wants to know what the most inspiring part about going to the Oscars was. When we were there during rehearsals in the orchestra, like all the music you hear is people like on the drums and like playing the... When I heard that for the first time and the lights came up and the sparkles, that was amazing. A lot of people are asking me about the new Samsung phone and about my iPhone and about which one I use and I'm gonna use. I always carry two phones, an iPhone and an Android phone. And I could say like, whatever, five days in, four days in, this is by far my favorite Android phone. I mean, look at this thing, it looks like a stealth fighter and it's waterproof and the camera's good. But yeah, you'll still see me with two phones in this vlog. What film should have won best picture? Mad Max. What a lovely day! I mean, I think it's fantastic that Spotlight won. I think as far as like societal issues and the impact that culturally a film can have, Spotlight deserved it. I have no problem with Spotlight winning. What was the most interesting thing you saw? This is the last question. There was a moment when we went backstage and I'm not gonna name names, it's kind of the bathrooms that they had backstage for the presenters, like the women and the men that were like walking out to be like, and the Oscar goes to, they had like, bathrooms back there. And when we went backstage, there was a line of celebrities, like the most beautiful actresses in their huge gowns, waiting in a line to go to the bathroom. These like larger than life celebrities, they were just like regular people waiting in line to take a pee, just like you or me. I hope that doesn't sound gross or anything, but I don't know why that moment stuck with me. Okay, that's it for the Oscar q and I hope you like all of my crazy Oscar coverage. Uh, in other news, some progress was made by Miguel while I was gone. 99% done back here. It's super late at night. I'm in my closet in my pajamas. I was just finishing up the vlog edit and I realized I didn't shoot an ending. So I thought I would come in here and record myself and then I could use this as the ending. <laughs> Turning a little bit to me to like, yeah, that's it, that's perfect. 
That is a perfect double page spread right there.